everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through the basic steps for navigating Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV box. To launch, you're going to want to follow the first tutorial video or the instructions that were provided in your box when you purchased it. Once you get it up and loaded, you're going to get to you're going to see this main screen here called All Movies and TV. This is where if you just know what you want to watch and when you first load it up, you just go in here and you search what it is that you're looking for. Sports, that's going to be where you'd watch all your games, your pay-per-view, live entertainment, any highlights, anything that has to do with sports, whether it's pro or minor, can all be found in the sports section. Then there's the music section. You're gonna, you clearly you just go in and you search there. What I, I've used MP3 streams as the main add-on. There are other add-ons for live radio and everything that you can use. I've installed Pandora for you, um, and you can find all that if you were to go down and select add-ons underneath music. Movie apps. This is where you can find anything else that you want to uh, watch as far as adult entertainment. If the first section you couldn't find a movie or a TV show, you could go in here and search within these other apps. Workout videos. You could find the other music add-ons here too, any program add-ons, favorites. Um, you can also install more add-ons in this section as well. If you, I didn't install all the uh, foreign TV. I just put the most popular ones in the U.S. But if you're looking for a particular add-on for whatever country you're in, this would be where you could install it. I've plugged everything in for you. All you have to do is select it and install it. And it should be always be found right here in movie apps thereafter. Faves. This is where when you decide to put things in your super favorites, all of it's going to go here. So anytime you know you save something, just go to the faves section. It'll be right there for you. Weather gives you the five-day forecast for whatever region you're in. System has the settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select it and just walk you through a little bit. Appearance. This is where you can change your skin. Note, if you change your skin, your main menu settings will change. So you have to learn how to adjust them once within that skin once you've changed it. Everything will still be there. You'll just have to go to your add-on section and navigate like that instead of having it easily accessible on your main screen until you can learn how to do that. Every skin has a different setting option for the main menu. Some are easier than others. Settings is where would be where you would go into to change all that the the skin settings as far as main menu and wrap arounds and uh, pretty much everything that you need to customize it for what you like and how you want it to operate. Then you got font. I have it set aerial based. You can change whatever you want, but it's only whatever each skin provides. Zoom is where you would go to fit it to your screen. Not everything has been formatted to fit the screen of every TV. So if it's cutting off for you, go ahead and just come into the system settings and select whichever way you want it to go, either in or out. And then you have all the other basic settings. I mean, they every skin is different, like I said. You go over to international. This is where you can change your language. Like I said, I set everything up for English and U.S., but these boxes do get sent out across the country, so this is where you would be able to change that a list this would just set it for however you want your file lists to be shown and screensaver this is you can go ahead and add on a screensaver add-on in the movie app section under get more I'll make another video to walk you through how to do all that after um, I do suggest putting on a screensaver 
especially if you're the type of person to fall asleep with the TV on just because the, the screen will sit like this all night long without a screensaver. Then you have video. This is also where you're, you can get the apps. Live TV. You want to make sure your EPG data settings are proper. Otherwise, you're just going to get script errors and um, little bars that pop up at the top that are telling you that things are not working or there's plugins that are needed. And it's definitely a lot of maintenance to have live TV unless you know what you're doing. Um, I don't suggest playing with it, but there are YouTube videos out there for anyone who is will, who wants to get live TV on the device. Music, where you can get other music add-ons, pictures, you can store pictures and use that as a screensaver if you'd like. You can change your weather region. You can get more add-ons here as well. You can add on services. System is pretty much just settings and skin is those two can be found in the appearance section. I'm going to hit the back button and I want to thank you for watching the basic navigation of Cody and there'll be more movies to come. Thank you.